Hello everyone, this is the Karate Kids midterm presentation. It's brought to you by Hannah, Jesse, Jonathan, Jordan, and Michael. The purpose of our TV show Rugrats is to give life lessons to children in an interesting fashion. Kids absorb a lot from the things that they are exposed to and they don't even realize it. Each episode of the Rugrats has Tommy leading his group of friends on some sort of adventure. And throughout the episode, Tommy shows great management skills to lead the babies to success. In each episode, the babies go on a different adventure with a new problem that they need to overcome as a group. Some episodes, Angelica stands in their way. and some episodes, it is Tommy having to figure out how to best lead the babies. Teaching people how to be an effective manager when they are children is a great way to prepare them for life as an adult. Next, we will be looking at the character profiles of the Rugrats show. Um, there are four individual character profiles, but there are five characters, which I'll elaborate on that when we get to it. The first character we're looking at is Tommy Pickles, who is the smartest and most rational of all the characters. Thus, he is their chosen leader, um, which they look up to, though he may not like to always admit that. He is the youngest and has not yet developed hair, aside from the little bit of peach fuzz, and he's dressed in a blue shirt and diapers throughout the series. He is the protagonist of the show, constantly using his rational thinking skills to lead his baby brethren toward their desired goal or away from Angelica's imposed threat. He's also very caring for his friends and family, and though he has big dreams and is the bravest and most adventurous of them all, he does not want to put his friends in harm's way and is willing to do whatever to ensure their well-being. Next is Angelica Pickles, who is Tommy's older cousin as well as the antagonist. She is dressed in a purple dress with a red undershirt and polka dot stockings, as well as having blonde pigtails with purple bows in them. She has a very bad temper and is very irrational, and um, she's also the only non-baby in the show that can communicate with the babies as well as the adults, which allows her to try and manipulate them more easily. But her bad temper and tendency to be dramatic kind of hinders this ability, um, causing her peers to not follow what she says, which she'll work against by trying to act nice to temporarily deceive them. Next is Chucky Finster, who is um, Tommy's best friend. And he, throughout the series, has a messy orange mop for hair and wears large purple glasses, as well as a blue shirt with the planet Saturn on it, and green cargo pants and red shoes that are always untied. He's afraid of everything, and especially new things, and he's usually very reluctant to go along with things that are out of the norm. Um, but his fear isn't necessarily a bad thing, as it acts as a check and balance towards Tommy's more adventurous side, as well as to Angelica's desire to get the babies into trouble and to sidetrack them from um, their more realistic, obtainable goals. But even though um, Chucky's afraid, he pushes through this fear so he doesn't let his best friend Tommy down. Next um, is Phil and Lil DeVille, which would be our fourth and fifth character, but they are looked at as being um, a single entity opposed to two individuals as they are one and the same. They are the twins of the group, which Phil wears a blue shirt with a duck on it, as well as blue shorts and blue shoes, while Lil wears a dress over her diaper identical to Phil's shirt, coupled with pink shoes and a pink bow. Um, they do everything together and are often confused for one another because they look so similar. And they argue a lot with one another, but though they argue, they still stick together through whatever challenge um, they're facing. And this loyalty for one another transcends throughout the group, acting as a glue, bonding them together even when faced with problems that drive them apart whether that's from their external environment or from specifically Angelica. Next, we'll be looking at the target market or target audience of the Rugrat show, um, which the target market of the Rugrat show is primarily aimed at an audience of 
young children aged from two to 10 years old. But due to the nature of our show relating to managerial concepts, young adults as well as parents to these children could benefit from watching in more of an educational manner opposed to the entertainment side that's targeted at these young children. Um, teens are not a primary market we're targeting as they find the plot or storyline less entertaining as it is not relatable to them. But due to the simplicity of the show as it is targeted at developing children, concepts are easier to grasp, making it a useful tool for teaching managerial skills and concepts in as well as outside of the classroom to people of all age groups. Tommy Pickles is the smartest and most rational of all the babies and is seen as a leader among his peers. Thus, he is their chosen leader. He is the protagonist of the show, constantly using rational thinking skills to lead his team of babies towards their desired goal or away from Angelica's imposed threat. He's also caring for his friends and family, and though he has big dreams, he doesn't want to put his friends in harm's way. Tommy's management style is a flat organizational structure. Unlike a tall organizational structure with many levels of hierarchy, none of the other team members are managers. Essentially, they all report to Tommy. Tommy's style of management is informal and decentralized. They use group decision-making in combination with an ebb and flow of ideas and critical thinking. Though Tommy does have technical skills, his strengths come from his conceptual ability. He uses his ability to tackle problems including logistical reasoning, judgment, and analytical abilities. The advantages of this is that it allows the team to cover technical aspects of the challenges they face. Additionally, Tommy also has a high level of interpersonal skills that allow him to be sensitive, persuasive, and have empathy, traits that are vital for a diverse team. Though Tommy is a manager, he's also a leader. He motivates his peers, mobilizes resources, and accomplishes goals set forth by his team using concepts such as group decision making and team brainstorming. Their diverse team plays off each other's strengths and weaknesses to accomplish their goals, no matter how big or how small. A perfect example of this is Angelica's bilingual ability that allows the team the ability to communicate with the adults. Though Angelica can be a problem at times, her liaison ability is a great benefit to the team is a perfect example why the diversity can be very beneficial. To take advantage of each other's abilities, they use the concept of differentiation, which can be defined as the extent to which tasks are divided into subtasks and performed by individuals with specialized skills. Each member of the team has some type of special skill. Tommy is the natural born leader of the group. Angelica is the only non-baby in the show that can communicate with the babies as well as the adults. Though Chucky is afraid of everything, he does respect Tommy. Therefore, he pushes through his fears as not to let Tommy down. Phil and Lil DeVille argue all the time with each other, but they still stick together to whatever challenge they are facing. This is very beneficial as that they can use constructive or even critical feedback without fear of hurting each other's feelings. Though Tommy's style of management has worked great in the past, they will soon be faced with new challenges. The normal scope of their business in the past has been limited to their house and their yard, but globalization is quickly taking an impact on them. This is something they will need to learn to work with considering their upcoming business trip to Paris. Our first episode begins with Tommy, Chucky, Phil, and Lil talking about what they can do for an adventure that day. They come up with a few different ideas, but nothing can appease all of them. Angelica overhears this conversation and crashes it. She gives a speech to the babies about how she knows what they want and convinces them to find freedom. The babies get swept up in the group think concept until Tommy tells them that their idea is only for Angelica's benefit. The other babies realize he is right and do not go through with her plan. This episode makes it clear that Tommy is the leader of the babies. Tommy has gotten an idea to take his baby friends on a trip to Paris. 
Unfortunately, Angelica comes in and tries to change their plans last minute. There is discord within the group for some time until Tommy decides he has to use the planning process to figure out how to best get the babies to Paris quickly. He does an analysis of their environment, resources, objectives, and their potential actions, implementation, and outcomes to find a way to get all the babies to Paris safely and in time for Chucky's dad's wedding. Tommy has some trouble getting the other babies to brainstorm ideas for things to do. He lets them think about it individually for a while. When they reconvene a little while later, Tommy is disappointed to find that the other babies have not come up with great ideas. He works with negative and positive enforcement to find out how to best motivate his team to have a good day. He finds that his team works best when given proper motivation instead of punishments and learns how to best manage his infant friends. We hope you've enjoyed our presentation today on the Rugrats theme. Stay tuned for more episodes coming up soon.